Another early morning to start the day. The first two days of the trip we were on the road by 7.30 or so. But for a fun-filled day of Mustang bullet action and Route 66 exploration, it's well worth it. After breakfast and some much needed coffee, we departed the hotel to begin day two. Our first stop of the day was at the Munger Moss Hotel. Odd name, cool sign. Unlike some of our day one stops, there wasn't much to see here, but it served as a decent warm up for another busy day. We then hit the road and enjoyed some good cruising. Our next stop would lead us to the 2018 Mid-America Street Rod Nationals in Springfield, Missouri. Unlike the last show in St. James, these folks weren't impressed with the Marauder. So no reindeer games for me today. Although you can't quite tell from this video, inside the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds were several hundred cars, if not thousands. We even had a special area designated specifically for our group of Mustang Bullets. Shortly after we park the cars, a ridiculously loud black 68 Mustang pulls up towards our parking area. Turns out this guy is a longtime bullet fanatic that's been around since day one of the old Imbach forums. Remember Jeff from Texas? You should. We just talked about him like an hour ago. Well, he joined us on the tour today and was kind enough to introduce me to the owner of this 68, Jimmy. I love this group of guys from the very beginning. They, we, we were like that. I mean, we were on Einbach. We'd have drunk parties. <laughs> on, well, remember those online, days? Online, online, online yeah. drinking <laughs> parties. The Friday night drinking Jeff told me about those. Yeah. Well, and and, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Kurt. Kurt and P.Y. Uh, yeah, they Colin. were Colin was nuts. Here Colin. Yeah. Colin was here this morning, but he had to go home. Oh, really? He only went to Star St. Robert. I mean, these guys to me are, you know, like family. They will, no matter, even if I don't have a bullet, I'm still family to them and our family yes, to me, you know? Awesome. Most of you guys all met online for the first time. Yes, That's yes, it was incredible. all online. We didn't know anybody. Yeah. I mean, it was like when we saw a bullet, it was like, oh, are you part of yeah. Einbach? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. what's that? Oh, it's all us <laughs> bullet guys. You. you know, the thing is, is with the internet, people, you know, Things come and go, but these friendships last forever. And it's and, and I'll tell you, it's all over a damn car. Yeah, it really is. It's over a car. All them green cars back there, them a couple of blue ones and a couple of black ones. You would have never thought it. You would have told me this before this all started that we'd all be getting to be this close because of a car. But after a while, it all becomes a car. It does. It does. It's all in all these big events just to hang out with everybody. The car doesn't matter anymore. That's uh, right. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of plenty of car groups out there. Um, a lot of them, they just they're too hostile or they're too aggressive. Well, we've had our fair share of that kind of crap. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Well, from what I've experienced so far, you guys are very family-oriented, fun and cool. We didn't them out. Yeah, we had we had a problem a few years ago with one, and I'm not going to go into it. But, oh, okay. <laughs> and, and, it, and that happens. He's but the thing is, we're still a poor, poor, poor group, that, and anybody's welcome. What a cool guy. He also happened to own a Mercury Marauder. I just got rid of my 04 Mercury Marauder. I love I that no car. I have Do you? High driving. five, brother. Thank you. I love those cars. 
that's how you know he's extra cool. Sadly, he would not be joining us for the tour, but I could tell that a few group members were really happy to see him at the show. We could have spent several more hours at the show and enjoyed every minute of it, but we had more on the agenda for the day and had to get going. Our next stop would lead us to what was probably my favorite gas station visit of the trip, a Sinclair station in Ash Grove, Missouri. What a gorgeous gas station. Dad described this place as being stopped in time. Good input, Dad. The next stop was a Phillips 66 gas station, also well-preserved and neat. At this point, I'm beginning to notice a bit of a trend. Gas stations. Lots and lots of gas stations. I was really excited when we reached our next location, the 66 Drive-In Theater. I absolutely love drive-in theaters, and it's a pity they're so difficult to turn a profit and keep alive. By the looks of it, this one was still in operation. Awesome. Might just have to pay this place a visit again someday in the near future. If memory serves me correctly, which it usually does most of the time, we were running behind schedule and decided to establish a meetup time a few destinations ahead. Cars arrived one by one later that evening at Grady's 66 Pub where they were expecting us for dinner and were making hot dogs. Local Mustangs had gathered around for a little show near the bar courtesy of the Oklahoma Mustang Club. They were even kind enough to arrange a tour of the nearby Classic Recreations. Very interesting place. They have nationwide recognition for their work in restoring classic Mustangs of the 1960s through 1970s, including Shelby, Boss, and Mach 1s, and even a Camaro, if you're into that kind of thing. So that was a super cool opportunity to go take a tour. Um, had a great time doing that, and now we're gonna go to bed, wake up, Ready for day three tomorrow. Uh, I believe tomorrow we're going to Tucumcari, New Mexico. So that should be fun. See you there.